Tasker has a new feature that it can read CSVs. In case you're not aware, a CSV is just a, a, a text, a piece of text, where the first line identifies the, the field names for the rest of the, the data. So in this example, we have username field, which corresponds to the first field here. Then the identifier corresponds to this field, the first name, and the last name. So for the first uh, data here, we have username booker12, identifier 9012, then first name Rachel, and last name Booker. So previously to get this data, you needed to split all these lines, and then each line split it again, and then get the data, and it was hard to identify each field. But right now, what you need to do to read this is simply CSV, for example, username. And this will get the first username in this data, Booker12. If you want to get all of the usernames, do this, parenthesis, and it'll get the full array of all of the usernames. If you want to get first, for example, the first name, because it has a space, you can't use this dot notation, and you'll have to use this first name. So use the square brackets notation to you to get fields with spaces. There you go, all of the names. Sometimes CSVs will lack this first line, and will only have the data itself. In this case, in those cases, you can access the data via the index. So, for example, if you do CSV1, it'll get the first field of each line, all of the usernames. If you want to get, for example, the first name, you would get the third ID, uh, third index. And there are all the first names. So just to show you how powerful this is, we can try using the array merge action, which will merge several arrays, and get the CSV, for example, first name. No, uh, let's merge, yeah, let's merge the array CSV first name, first name with the CSV last name and with the CSV username. If we merge these three arrays with the joiner, for example, space, and output into users, we now get an array that we can use in a list dialog, for example, call this users, and in the items, let's use users. And now you have Rachel Booker with this username, Laura Gray with this username, and very easily you transform this CSV, this CSV data into a usable list that you can properly read and select and so on. So this is easy CSV reading in Tasker. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.